things about our Houston sports teams is how much they love helping out in our community. Last week, the Houston Dynamo and Dash collected so many donations for Harvey victims to the point that they had to tell people to stop drop, dropping off items at BBVA Compass Stadium. Let's take a look. Yesterday afternoon, we established a BBVA Compass Stadium as the main donation center um, for, for the area, processing them, sorting them, and getting them distributed to the different shelters around the, around the area. It was, uh, it was pretty intense for a few days, for sure. Um, but out here today, because luckily uh, where I was wasn't too badly affected, so I am just here with you know, a bunch of fellow friends just trying to help out. Just seeing everything on the news, it's really heartbreaking of the people who lost everything, so we just wanted to give back. Uh, once I realized my family was like, how do I become, how do I help? How do I get involved and make sure the community gets back on its feet? Thank you so much for bringing <laughs> it by. You're welcome. And I'm telling you, I'm going to start charging for these smiles. What a bunch of people with the most beautiful smiles you've ever seen. I get the chills every time that I look around of just, these are Houstonians that are affected. Our staff directing and, and sorting through supplies and I just couldn't be prouder. Couldn't be prouder. Mm. So amazing. All right, we're now joined by Houston Dash player Janine Becky, Community Relations Manager Valerie Holland, and BBBA Compass Stadium General Manager Juan Rodriguez. Great work, guys. That looked like so much fun. And uh, something that I think we sometimes forget is that we, you know, we want to hear about everything that you guys have been doing, but you guys have also been affected by Harvey one way or another. So how are you guys doing? Pretty good so yeah, far. I think yeah. we've all fared pretty well. We were very lucky as a staff to not have, you know, a whole lot of damage from anyone on staff or on any of our teams. So I think we've fared pretty well so far. And you guys collected so many items, um, about 1,200 pallets yeah. or more. So yeah. how did this even get started? You know, it all happened. Uh, uh, I was at the uh, command center at the George R. Brown wearing another hat on the American Red Cross side, um, looking at running one of the shelters, and all of a sudden the city came up and said that. It's, it was becoming challenging collecting all the, uh, all the different donations that it was just a, an overwhelming outpouring uh, from the community. So while I was in there, I had to take off my other hat and put mm -hmm. on the BVA hat and said, well, why won't we do it at the stadium? So within two and a half hours, it, it just, it all kind of organically. Look at all of that. It, it totally organically happened. And um, we had, to, so for two and a half hours, the entire one, entire side of the stadium was full. And the next couple of days, we, we continued, so. So you guys ended up dropping off some of the donations at local shelters? Yeah, so we, with, we couldn't have done it without the help of over 3,000 volunteers. Mm -hmm. But we probably, in, in the neighborhood of about 1,200 pallets ended up getting, or skids, ended up getting filled and went to about a little over 40 different shelters, which is only half of the stuff mm -hmm. that, was actually, uh, that was actually donated. The, the other half is being set up with the city right now mm -hmm. in a donation or distribution center so it can continue to go out to those that, that need it. So. And Janine, you obviously, you're a Dash player, but you also love helping in the community. And you were out of town that weekend, I believe, and you were still able to raise money. And you are, I think it's over $12,000 right now. We're close, yeah. Um, I got out to Dallas, thankfully. Uh, there was a few of us that made that decision uh, to get out. So I was high anxiety about my team uh, still being here and a lot of the staff still being here. So that was scary for us. And I just thought, you know, let me get with someone and see if we can start some kind of fun so we went on GoFundMe and the original goal was 5,000 I think I quickly bumped that to 10 and then I've just seen an incredible outpouring of support friends family different organizations a lot of different teams in the NWSL sharing my link and we're about $11,700 right now Ooh. so the goal is 12 I think I'll get over that in the yeah. next couple of days and and it's just been an incredible thing to see uh, in all different sites, BBVA, money, JJ Watts fund, um, things like that. So I'm, I'm really proud of what our city's done and been a small part. So if people want to help, how can they help you reach your goal? Uh, GoFundMe.com slash Houston Dash Hurricane Harvey Relief, I think. It's on my Twitter page okay. as well, Janine Becky Four, and the Houston Dash and Dynamo have shared it as well. So if you want to go online and yeah. check it out. We will do that. And Valerie, you guys have a game this Saturday. Saturday, the Dynamo are playing Colorado, and $5 of every ticket goes to Hurricane Harvey Correct. Relief. Correct. Yeah. Relief. So we'll be uh, selling any of the tickets that are bought throughout the game for Saturday. $5 of it will go back to helping with hurricane relief efforts throughout the city. 
Um, we'll also be hosting a canned food drive, so we'll be collecting items at the gates for anybody that wants to bring them that we'll donate out to the Houston Food Bank, um, along with the items that we've already had. So we're just trying to keep our impact going and helping out as much as we can. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank you for everything that you've been doing in the community. We can't wait to watch you play soon, Janine. And to get your tickets to this Saturday's game and support flood relief efforts, just visit HoustonDynamo.com. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. And coming up next, personal injury lawyer Willie Powell's answers some common legal questions coming out of Hurricane Harvey. We'll be right back.